Shalom everybody and welcome to our very special series as we're going to the journey of Rivka. My name is Rabbi Shapira and I'm the author of the Rivka Remnant. I hope you're enjoying it and it's blessing you. But the purpose beyond this series is to give you a few pinpoints that you yourself can go through this journey yourself together with others in great success and fulfill your role for the last days. We're looking through a specific attribute that Rivka must have in order to have this successful and great journey. Now, please pay attention to the shiur, to the lesson today. I want to focus on the end of the journey of Rivka as she write about to reach to Isaac. Something very special happening as Rivka is falling off the camel. The question in the back of our mind should be, why did Rivka fell off the, the, the camel? And listen to what I wrote in page 141. In Genesis Rabbah, our rabbis ask, what is the meaning of a camel? There is a sign of purity and defilement within it. Similarly, Rivka gave birth to two sons, a righteous son and a wicked son. This is the meaning of the scripture. She fell off the camel, meaning, listen, she desired only for cleanliness to be within her. Let us understand that her devotion and fear of God were so great that she made Esau a bearer of the souls of the righteous, which are the converts in the future. Esau destined to be purified. As our rabbi says, the pig represent Esau is destined to be purified. As it is written, a pig from the forest will devour her. And it is also written, all savior will climb to Mount, the Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau and the kingdom shall be God's. Moreover, our sages said, that the kingdom of Rome is destined to build the temple in its proper place. Let us understand. Are you kidding me? She felt off because she already know. Remember Rivka, she is a prophetess. She is sitting in the prophetic. She fell because she wanted to repair her handboard son in the future. It's a way for her to call upon God and say, I want to fix the problem that is going to be within me so that there will be a complete tikkun. And the rabbis understood from that that in the future there will be a remnant from Esau. Just as it says here in page 144, 41, that Esau will bear a soul of the righteous. And you ask yourself the question, what, Esau? Esau the wicked? He is the one who is going to bear the souls of the righteous. And this is the job of Rivka today. Brothers and sisters, your job today is not to go against the church and to rebuke the church and, and just become angry and negative toward your great Christian friends, brothers, sisters, husbands and wife. On the contrary, being a remnant means that you don't elevate yourself above others, but rather help to pull others up by bringing a tikkun to the life of those around you. Rivka have the responsibility of what we call in Hebrew metakenet, a bringing an ultimate repair to the world around her. Rivka, who fell from the camel, attempted to bear only the soul of the righteous by preparing for the future repair of her son Esau. Brothers and sisters, today we need to understand that the church is not our enemy, neither Christianity. Your job is to be part of the tikkun not part of the problem. So today, as part of the remnant, let us be part of the solution 
not part of the problem in bringing the repair to as many remnants from Esau of Christianity. God bless you. Shalom, everybody.